Thank you, thank you, slow. Give it up for Ernest. Yeah. It's my second time here, guys. I'm back again. Yeah, it's good. It's far from my house. I don't live anywhere near here. I live very far from here. But it's good to be here. It's a real cowboy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, yeah. It's a real one. I wanted to be a cowboy. I really did. I wanted to be a bull rider when I was a kid. But I was afraid of riding bulls, so didn't work out for me. Do you ride bulls? Oh, well. What? What? You grow greens? Does that make you a cowboy? I don't think it does. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, guys, I mean, what are you guys, a Wes Anderson film right here? Thank you. Thanks for coming. Is Bill Murray here? Is Bill? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, well, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Nope, I won't. I'm better than that. I have been uh, driving across this great country of ours doing comedy all over the place, opening for Joe Prano, your headliner, and my former roommate. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I've been all over the country, guys. And uh, I don't know if you guys have been out there lately, but uh, it's not very good. <laughs> yeah, stay here. It's better here. <laughs> Even nice places, like uh, we pulled into a, a hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. I don't want to say the name of it, but it rhymed with Chariot Courtyard. <laughs> Yeah, we pull in the parking lot, we soon as we get into the guy, he's like, pops out of nowhere, you know? And he's like, uh, whatever you do, you want to put all your stuff in your hotel room. Because if you don't, the crackheads will steal it. I was like, all right, who are you? He goes, uh, I'm a crackhead. He's like, I'm also hotel security, but my job is mostly crack. That's what I majored in in college. Yeah, I don't want to complain though, guys. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not a complainer, you know? Like, uh, look at me. I don't look like a guy that's had a very hard life. <laughs> I look like a guy that auditions for Viagra commercials. <laughs> I've, I've thrown the football through the tire. <laughs> I didn't get it. So. They're like, you have an audition for a Viagra commercial. I'm like, yeah. They're like, you didn't get it. Mm. You got a callback. They don't like you. Yeah, it's not fun. But I'm not complaining. That is not why I'm here. I'm staying in a, uh, air, you, anyone here from Arroyo Grande? I like, I don't know, you guys say the words out here like, you're like, fuck the Spanish. We'll say them. <laughs> We're not gonna say them like they say them. We'll use all the things, but we'll say them differently. <laughs> all right, it's fine. I'm, I don't even know how to say where I'm staying. Like, I'm saying, I want to say Arroyo Grande, but it's like, it's like Arroyo Grande. I don't know what to say. But that's where I'm staying. I'm staying in an Airbnb there. Anyone here from there? No one? Yes? All right. Fuck Arroyo Grande. I don't care. It means nothing to me. The place means nothing to me. But I am staying there, staying in a really nice Airbnb. Uh, they have like chicken coop, Just cool. The woman was like, you can eat all the eggs you want, you know, inflation. I'm like, I'm eating all the eggs. I've had 17 eggs in the last 24 hours. I'm like, fucking, I feel like Cool Hand Luke, you know, it's not good. I'm harassing the chickens. I'm like, come on, let's go. And they have a garden. They're like, you can, you know, eat all the vegetables you want. Fuck that, I don't want vegetables. But, uh, she also has fruit trees, and she's like, you can have all the fruit you want from the fruit trees, except for the one fruit tree. She's like, you can't have, you have to avoid the one fruit tree. I'm like, <laughs> it's feeling biblical at this point. And I just, you know, and I'm like relating to Adam. I'm like, I just want the fucking avocados. Like, I just, I just want to try them. You know, I can't resist. So I did. <laughs> Today I had an avocado. And I immediately realized I was naked. 
I had been naked for a while. I was masturbating in that fucking hot tub. But that's besides the point. It's just that God should not be fucking with us like this. Like he shouldn't, he shouldn't be doing this to us because it's too tempting. And he's mean. He can control things and he doesn't, so. It's not cool. It's not cool. Bill's fan. Bill's mafia? Hell yeah. Avoid her. They're very dangerous people. They jump on tables and... Oh, are you in the real mafia? Oh, you're not that crazy. All right, fine. You're going to win this weekend. I have $30,000 that says you will. If you don't, I'm killing myself, so I hope you win. Yeah. All right, you guys are nice people. I just got married, first time in my life. Thank you, yeah. First time for me. First time I got married. You guys are probably wondering, like, what took you so long? I don't know. Where are my married couples at? That's why I waited. That's why I waited as long as I did, because they're not selling it. They're like, they don't seem at all excited about it. So I was like, fuck it. I will wait as long as I will wait. And I did. Waited this long, and here we are. But my wife, my wife is a lot younger than me. She's like 15 or 16 years younger. I don't know. She's a lot younger than me, but uh, it's kind of cool. Also a little creepy, but kind of cool, mostly cool. I'm glad I waited, though. You know, because uh, if I got married when I was young, younger, who knows where I'd be? Probably jail, right? I think it's a felony to marry someone 15 years younger than you when you're in your 20s. I don't know. I think everything is illegal here in California, so. It's definitely illegal in New York. Welcome back. Dude. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Yeah, but my wife, like Ernest, is a Native American. Yeah, she's one of the first ones here. First ones in the whole place. Uh, not her, she's like young, but her, you know. Anyway, we, get, we eloped in the backyard of my mansion. And uh, <laughs> just the two of us. And, and she was like, I think uh, this spring our family should meet, you know? And I was like, haven't your people suffered enough? Like, do you really need to spend a weekend with my family? I don't think you want to do that. Like, I can tell you this, you're not, you know, when it's over, you're not getting a casino, you know? You're just gonna go home angry. Because they're bad people. Her family's good, my family's, you know, a bunch of drunks. You guys understand. Do you guys like uh, animals here? You love animals, right? You like dogs? Is that your thing, dogs? Dog people, anyone? Yeah, you like dogs? No one else, just you? That's fine. I have a dog. I feel like you can tell a lot about a person by the kind of dog they have, right? Like, if you see a, a big guy with a pit bull, probably likes MMA, <laughs> right? Probably puts butter in his coffee because Joe Rogan told him to. Yeah. Or if you see like a couple with a labradoodle, those are bad people. Right? They like love their Range Rover and hate immigrants. Yeah. I live in New York. This is something you guys probably don't know, but if, if you're in New York City, if you ever see a woman walking a great day, you know what that means? She's looking for a guy with a huge cock. It's true. It's like a bat signal. No one knows that. It's true. It's like a whole thing that's going on. But when I see that, I just, I keep moving. <laughs> Stay in my lane. You know? My wife has a small to medium-sized dog. That's a joke about my penis. All right, you guys have been wonderful human beings. Thank you so much. This is gonna be a great show. Enjoy the rest of it. Thank you so much. Can't even get